All right, so today we're going to be uh, talking about CJ So Cool and uh, Becky uh, So Cool. We're going to be reacting to the last couple of videos on uh, CJ's uh, channel. But uh, I, I just had to get this off my chest uh, because when I saw that uh, news coverage done uh, by Fox 5 or whatever, like I was just paying attention to her eyebrows. Like I really wasn't paying attention to what she was saying. I've been like trying to figure out like, are those, like, glued on or, like, are those, like, in their natural form? Like, ladies, let me know in the comments section. Uh, I'm no expert by any means, but it just seems like they're not moving. Like, they're, like, just glued on or something like that. I don't know what's going on. Like, that's the one thing that uh I just kept staring at every time I saw that uh, news coverage or video or whatever. But um, speaking of uh Becky... I wanted to share actually something I saw on Ringo TV uh, Reactions uh, channel. Like, he does some excellent commentary and comedy. And I definitely wanted to share this, like, small segment in one of his uh, live streams that he did about CJ So Cool. It's this one right here, actually. More proof that uh, CJ So Cool pranked everyone. Um, but there was, like, a small clip in here where you just guys, you guys, you got to check this part out. Like, there is no explanation it's just hilarious to watch so we're gonna share this with you guys right now and then we'll do a follow-up afterwards and talk more about uh cj so cool and becky so cool so let's uh check this part out and then continue afterwards the reason why they use her fam is because if you could put becky in front of the camera fam everybody's gonna believe her <laughs> CJ text me and I responded to him and I said, babe, babe, what's the matter? Babe, I got shot four times. Where you at? Where are you? I'm at the hospital. I'm, I'm, I got shot four times. I mean, six times. I mean, four times. Okay, babe, make sure you sound very dramatic now. We need those views and clicks. <laughs> okay, honey. Okay. <laughs> All right, so that was a Ringo TV uh, reactions. Make sure you guys go check out his uh, channel and definitely watch those live streams he did on uh, CJ So Cool. I thought they were pretty hilarious. I mean, his commentary is pretty much on point, and uh, he does a lot of comedy as well. But I'm starting... Um, you know, this whole situation with Becky and um and royalty and CJ So Cool is starting to remind me of this movie. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this movie. It's called Obsessed. Um, it's with uh, Idris Elba and uh, Beyonce. And uh, this woman, uh, this new assistant, Becky, if you guys haven't seen the movie, it's definitely worth watching because it definitely does remind me of the CJ So Cool family situation. So this new assistant gets into the picture, and if I remember correctly, I think she does uh, have an affair with um, with Beyonce's husband in this video, and then she's like pretty much trying to take over the family. Like she starts off as the assistant, and then uh, she becomes uh, like she's I guess trying to become the wife, and it just kind of reminds me of. Becky and CJ so cool because Becky, you know, she was presented to you guys, the uh, supporters and viewers that she's the new assistant. And then she became the girlfriend. And now she's like the stepmom. It seems like she's really trying to conquer over the uh, over the uh, CJ so cool household at this point. So CJ so cool presented uh, three months ago saying I finally hired this assistant. Everything you need to know about CJ So Cool's new assistant. And then she becomes the girlfriend. I think it was like in uh, one of CJ on 32's uh, videos that he mentions that this is his new girlfriend. And then uh, now we learn that, or I guess he's been using her in the titles as stepmom. My daughter met her new stepmom for the first time. 
So I don't know about you guys, but I, I would kind of I, I would kind of feel overprotective over my children. Uh, like if I was in royalty's position, I would definitely feel um, overprotective a little bit because uh, we got two individuals here that are. Well, first of all, like these two are actually meant for each other because CJ is really on Becky's level, like mentally he's on her level. I don't think he's on royalty's level like royalty is a real woman i don't think uh, cj so cool can handle a real woman at this point and i'm not saying that he's not a real man but i just don't think mentally he's on that level i think he's really on becky's level and becky's like 23 or like 24 years old something like that so he's more on her level mentally because the things he says on video is like hold on man like what you're saying doesn't make any sense like in some of these videos where he claims he's apologizing and then he says, like, I guess his house is now more secure. The house is not more secure. I understand why royalty would not want her kids back in that house. I mean, for several reasons, but a lot of this stuff that he says more recently doesn't make any damn sense. Some people here left comments as CJ's a trip. He apologizes, then talks shit about royalty in the same sentence. LMAO, as soon as I... Be like, good job, CJ, you're maturing. Then you say some dumb shit, you're confusing. But I agree, you should be able to see the kids. Um, but yeah, I mean, you got then Lexi. So this is actually another solid comment, kind of like summarizing what I was just about to talk about, which we're going to get into in just a sec. But you got Lexi on Instagram saying, I don't see anyone when I'm out because I'm always courtside or VIP. No bleachers for me. Like she's basically taking shots at royalty, like, kind of like low ball jabs mario lopez wish he had these as uh, seats like i feel like especially when these are in the same exact story feed i mean it's kind of like pretty much hinting towards the same direction if you ask me lexi speaking as a 24 year old she has a lot to learn she should just stay silent when it comes to your kids at least to the public if the shoe was on the other feet and lexi had kids she would do the same Lexi got a chill. She making it way worse for real. Even if she wants to defend herself for CJ's sake, if she really loves him and wants him to see his kids, the way to show royalty that she's not bothering you is to be quiet. This is why this comment has 129 thumbs up, 26 replies. You better start a cooking channel with Lexi because all your channel is about throwing shades with royalty. Like every time he posts on uh, Instagram, Lexi preparing some kind of meal like that's all kind of low ball jabs at her go to court and get 50 50 custody make sure you know what days that you want find a school that all can agree on for the kids that will be picked up and dropped off so that y'all don't have to see anyone I don't think uh everything I'm going to say in this video is really just my opinion I don't think if CJ goes to court uh it's going to go in his favor because CJ is just out of control. Um, like, I was watching some of his videos. I don't know if these are fake guns. They look like real guns. They look loaded. And you got these guns. Like, you got your shoes locked away. But you got all kinds of guns on the floor. And you want these two babies walking around your house. Like, it doesn't make any sense. This house is not safe if this is the way, uh, like, it's... This is the way you're doing things at your house. You got guns just laying on the floor. We're not talking about one gun, two guns. We're talking about a bunch of guns. And he's got, like, some assault rifles as well. Like, this is, like, unsafe living conditions. Like, I don't know what people are talking about saying that uh, he was going to take her to court and win. Like, no, that doesn't make any sense. Look at that. There's an assault rifle. I can't imagine that's a fake assault rifle right there. So you got your shoes locked away. But your guns like all over the place. Like, let's make it make sense. And and if, if some people say, oh, these are fake guns. These are still heavy objects. So imagine these two babies walking around toddlers and they lift these weapons and they injure one another. Like, it's, it's still an unsafe object. So I, I don't know. I mean, and they could be very well loaded and they're just laying around in the house and he's got some in the... Uh, and like different parts of the house, like some in the drawer, like his house is not safe. At least what he's presenting on YouTube. I don't know if what whatever he presents on YouTube is fake. 
than what's actually um, in reality in the house. But the other thing is the house itself is not safe. And this is what I was saying earlier, you know, when I was talking about like him not being there on uh, royalties, like mentally, mentally, he's not on her level. He's more like on Becky's level. She's like a 23, 24 year old, if I'm not mistaken. So he's definitely like on her level. So I feel like their their relationship and communication might be more uh, on that level, whereas royalty is like a real woman and uh, she has different instincts and in seeing things. So you had two suspects, according to your story, whether these are two males, two females, one male, one female, who cares? Two suspects allegedly enter your house. And uh, the result is you get shot four times or six times or four times. Who knows how many times, but you got shot four to six times. So now he says the house is secure because he got security cameras and uh, alarms. Like, this is what I mean. Like, the stuff he says makes no sense. So what happens if, because I heard that Raven Queen allegedly might have been part of some gang or is in a gang, could have been in a gang, who knows exactly. But that's the information, that's the rumors all around that she's part of some gang. So what if, hypothetically speaking, a gang of like 10 people show up at his house? Everybody knows where his house is. You got potentially 9 million people subscribed to your channel on YouTube and then like a couple more million subscribe on uh, on Instagram. So a lot of people and then all that news coverage... So your your house is a pretty much a hot target, and uh, you're saying that security cameras and an alarm is now going to make your house more secure, and I guess he says there's, like, some Navy SEAL guy or whatever. Like, this stuff doesn't make sense. So, like, hypothetically speaking, if 10 people showed up, a gang of 10 people showed up, like, what do you guys think is going to happen? Like, you gotta you guys got to think about that. Like, this man needs to move out of this house. This house is unsafe. For these kids, really. Uh, so I can see, you know, why royalty would not want her kids there. It's just like, he, he really thinks that like some security cameras and like a fire alarm or an alarm of whatever kind is going to stop bullets. Like, come on, man. Like two people were able to shoot you four to six times, something like that. I don't know how many times he exactly got shot, but uh, allegedly two people, three people, five people. The story keeps on changing. Uh, five people got away with uh, shooting him two to six, four to six times. So what happens if there's like a gang of 10 people that show up at his house like and they're all armed with guns? You think like some security cameras and alarms are going to be able to deter that? They're going to be able to stop bullets like the stuff he says doesn't make any damn sense. But anyways, uh, that's just my opinion. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the uh, comment section. Make sure you guys like, comment, and uh, subscribe. And definitely uh, go check out that movie, uh, Obsessed. And let me know if you guys think it kind of aligns to what uh, the situation right now with CJ So Cool and, uh, and Becky and uh, Royalty. Uh, let me know in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching.